What is up, Cryonix? In this video, I'll be giving a guide for this week's normal time trial, RC Bandito time trial, and the premium race totaling over $300,000. Remember, the time trials can only be completed once a week for the full $100,000 payout. The premium race, however, can be completed in a limited amount of times with a 48 minute cooldown between each win. Also, keep in mind that rocket powered slash flying vehicles cannot be used in time trials. So, starting off with the time trial this week, which is Grove Street, I highly recommend our the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, Batty801, Krieger, or Emerus for this time trial. In terms of route, this time trial has one shortcut at the beginning, but the rest of it is pretty simple. The hardest part is definitely avoiding the traffic. A bike will be the easiest for this one in my opinion because you can weave in and out of traffic easily, but I will be using a car for this one to make it a little more fun specifically a fully upgraded Krieger. Moving on to this week's RC Bandito time trial, which is La Fuente Blanca. As always, you need to own an RC Bandito in order to participate in these. This RC time trial is a bit tricky if you've never done it before because of the bumpy and tight sections, so make sure to let off the throttle before many of the turns and bumps so you can maintain the stability of your Bandito and make sure you brake often. Also when you use your brakes, make sure to press them in about halfway, not all the way, or you might lose control of your Bandito. And lastly, we have this week's premium race, which is Senora Freeway. This one is restricted to the supercars class. I highly recommend Ari to Vest 8, Emerus, or Krieger for this race. For those of you who've never done this race before, it's pretty easy for the most part. The number one place where people mess up is the first corner where people break too late. And it's easy to do that when you're going top speed and slipstreaming at the same time. So make sure you break earlier for that corner and of course, you have the other two corners towards the end. All depends on if you're slipstreaming or not. The rest of the race is pretty easy in my opinion. Anyways, for this one, I'll be using a fully upgraded Divest 8.
And that's it guys, a normal time trial is pretty easy if you use a bike and can avoid the traffic. The RC time trial is pretty difficult if you've never done it before, but just take it slow for most of the tight corners and you'll be fine. And this week's premium race might take some practice if you've never done it before, but overall it's pretty easy. Again, remember guys, you can earn over $300,000 between the three this week, and setting yourself to go to beat them is always a lot of fun in my personal opinion. Let me know which one you found most difficult and what vehicles you use down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.